Hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome back to some more Death Must Die. It is... I guess it's thanks... Yeah, I think it is actually going out on, on Thanksgiving. Um, but I'm, I'm pre-recording a bunch of my video. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of shrines. What happened here? Uh, don't know, don't care. I'm happy about this. Now, we do actually have some EXP, passive EXP gains, so that's a good sign. Yeah, that's not a book. That is a trinket that we don't want. Uh, so let's grab the ones down here and then head north. Oh, baby, really? 30 evasion. 30 evasion. I mean, like, compared to what I've got on Nixie, it's not great. Uh -huh. Why am I doing so much damage? I have no idea. Uh, okay. Somebody said Deadly Strike is actually really good. I'm going to re-roll and hope we get something better. Nope. Why am I doing so much damage? Oh, is it this sword? I don't think Deadly Strike is doing what I, I was hoping it would do. Somebody was saying it, it resolves curse status immediately, so I'll get more. I get the very distinct feeling a lot of the comments I'm getting are actually just, like, demonstrably wrong. Uh, which is a little unfortunate for me. Because it's a little hard to parse what people you are saying. Okay, do we want this one? I think we... Do. Okay, I know we just got the Emerald Dragon. I might want to... No, 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 no. I think, I think going with him is fine. What did I just grab? I have no idea. Okay, you know what? None of these were actually good. Let's start over. Let's actually have a plan going into this one. The big problem with Scotty at the moment is that she actually has the least amount of bonus rarity anything. Uh, yeah, our master offers are critically low, which is an issue. Let's just sell this. And we're kind of low on resources. So we're going to have to kind of make this one work uh, purely on grit. Which means we're probably hosed, but you never know. Anyway, I want to go for, like, big damage run. More or less a build that is dedicated to absolutely clobbering folks. And so what do I need for that? I don't think we need more act- Well, okay, so we do and we don't need more. Winter. I don't think we need winter. None of her attacks actually affect this. Do we need Justice? Justice does have that one really good legend, but it's unlikely to show up. Do we want Mort? Mort has Execution. We have Death. Oh, Curse Damage skills three times from Spell Damage bonuses. I didn't actually know that. It says your attacks become stronger and resolve curse statuses immediately. That doesn't actually cause enemies to get cursed. So, I don't actually think that's it. I think we want time. Fine, I'll get the alteration ritual. We'll just see what it is. I don't think I'm going to invest too deep into it. More heals, more adept offers. I'm going to go for the adept offers, if only because it's better than uh, trash tier. I'd like to get legends and masters, but there's a very real possibility we're just going to have to take what we can get. My goal on this run is to kill summoners and get past level 30, which is actually not too bad. Our base damage is weirdly high. Uh, oh, because we, we just got the damage Time shrine, is all of about the rule. I don't think we want summer. Because I could go for the damage scaling off of Mort, but I think that's a bad idea. So let's grab War Pact. Wait, why do I have a random skeleton? Oh, is it... Something to do with feared? Maybe. I don't know where that skeleton came from. Okay, I'm gonna go for this, though. Because, yeah, if I can get at least a couple of master upgrades, I will be at least in a somewhat better position. We'll figure it out. 
If I can actually find that shrine like four times, then we're very much in money. We're not. Time and. Okay, force warp strike. I'll just grab force. You would think with a 60% chance of getting adept offers, we'd be seeing adept offers left and right here. Freaking commons, man. Where are these undead coming from? I see upon you. Um. Fine. I'll make it. I'll make do. We'll go for the fire wave. It's not my favorite. But what else do we have? And who knows, we might get even better stuff. Chance to heal on hit, spell damage, crit chance, and spell speeds. You know, I think I am going to try and build Scotty around the idea of being a... Okay, I legitimately do not understand these skeletons, though. Do they go away? Or are they kind of this weird, like... Okay, they definitely go away. <laughs> Let's see, Chains of War, Shurikens, a Rampaging Strike. Let's go for the Rampaging Strike. Now what I really want to do and go for is like a really fast attacking, high damage, you know, hit enemies until they're dead build. Uh, I don't actually know if we're going to get there, but it'd be nice. Spell speeds or attack damage. And yeah, I do do have a big max damage multiplier, so I can kind of work with that. I don't know, we'll just figure it out. Whatever happens, happens. Mostly I'm just hoping we can get better gear. I think I am going to get rid of this amulet, though. Even if it's the thing that was giving me the random skeletons, that's not end-all be-all. Okay, what is this one? Silver spell cooldowns gain spell damage. Lose max life, gain max dam attack damage, gain more heals. I'm going to go for the heals. The lower damage to enemies below a certain health threshold is hilarious as it is probably terrible. Okay. Let's see if we just get lucky or something. I'm mostly hoping we can get enough upgrades on Scotty that we can get, uh, we can actually start getting some master upgrades. And then eventually I'd also like to min-max her purely for combat. Make her into this, like, really just fast bruiser. Because I think my, I don't want to say my big issue is that it feels like I go for certain builds just because that's the direction my gear has been pushing me this entire time. Uh, but I would like to break from that, if I can. What's my max health up to? Eh, it's getting there. Yeah, the dash cooldown is tempting, but I, I need to be beefy. Blades, shurikens. I'll go for the shurikens, they're not amazing. What? Oh. What? Alteration ritual. That's where it's that's where it's coming from. So when it says a random boon, I thought it was like the magnet. No. Every time I level up we get the chains of war for thirty uh you know we can proc chains of war for thirty seconds. Or we can proc skeletons for thirty seconds. Weird. Like, weird cool, but weird. Yeah, I'm hoping we can get a high rarity gem high, but I'm not betting on it. Like, I, unfortunately, the, the lasting issue we're going to have here is that we need 
way higher master rarity if we really want to do well or at least get the the really fun builds which is part of the reason why i've been leaning maris and nyx it could increase the rarity of war packs it's okay I think we seem to be doing surprisingly well for ourselves. Uh, let's see. Nah, I'm gonna go for the att attack chance. The, um... You get a little recharge of dash is tempting, especially if I got a couple of those. Ooh, in retrospect, Mort maybe would have been a good idea. I'd forgotten about the sights. I think Flame Wave is fine. Hello. This is tough. I've never invested in charge. So I'm going to go for it. I don't think I'm going to pick alteration ritual in the future it's funny but not really my my favorite wait what okay now that's just confusing I guess if you level enough you can get the dragon I I apologize for bad mouthing this actually weirdly good ability. I'm st I still think it's kind of low on my list just because it's not something I can rely upon or build around easy. Uh But credit where credit is due, it, it has more utility than I thought it did. I thought it was just going to be kind of a ho hum something or other. Nice to see that I'm just wrong. Right. My entire goal is I gotta kill summoners. And get to level 30. We're... yeah, we're well on our way on that one. You know the other thing that I could do with Scotty is actually just go for the... Hey, but what if I grabbed, like, all of the EXP per second? I think that's still gonna be Krant, though. Yeah, the one immediate problem with charge is that knockback is actually kind of rough on me. Okay. On the plus side, though. We actually do a decent chunk of damage here. And yeah, I can bowling ball straight into a crowd. Okay, there's one down. What do we get? Meteor Shower, Flare. I like Flare, it's not master level, but... It's kind of a nice bonus. take a bit to heal from. I don't do a whole lot of single target damage. Then again, the bosses are kind of overtuned. You wish to know. Okay, so that hurt. Uh, let's see, do we want to get blades level three? No, let's make the charge big. And yeah, it might not be a bad idea to invest kind of hard into charge at some point. I think I will still give this another shot. Hopefully we'll get a couple more master level items uh, to kind of fill us out here. Let's see. What I was gonna say is, uh, 
I would like to mess around with a run where I act actively... Well, I get the god choices I want, uh, and I'm able to banish most of the ones that I don't, uh, or most of the abilities I don't want. Uh, so really, most spells. But, I mean, credit where credit is due. Charge does a lot of damage. So I will, I will have to seriously consider it in the future. Master level blades. All right. I don't know why it's hitting for 500. I don't think my spell damage is that good, but it is apparently a thing. Hang out here. I also have no idea why I'm healing. Maybe we have a temporary vampirism perk or something. Uh, or a buff on, or some regen I don't know about. Gem high is tempting, but I'm going to go for the EXP bonus. Oh, because I didn't pick Warp Strike. I went for the knockback and the rupture because I wanted to give that a shot. And I think that's still pretty good. Eh, I don't know. Maybe gem high... I mean, we do know it's really good. It's good for crowds. The question is, what's good for a crowd might not be good for pummeling Dracula into oblivion. And that's, that's actually kind of a, a tough question. Next time summer pops up, though, we should um, banish a whole bunch of things. Hey, where am I getting all this HP from? To my knowledge, I don't have regen. And yet I'm regening. It could be a boon thing. I don't know. Oh, it's the swords. We have a uh, a chance to heal on, on crit or kill or something. That's where it is. I'm a goofus. I've even seen that go by a couple of times. I just usually don't spec for it because it's not... The chances were so low. Okay, 60% extra EXP. I mean, that's good. Oh, right. I'm supposed to be killing summoners. Are there any others? I have no idea. Ooh, look at all that EXP that I've left behind. Slap it to death. You cannot escape me. A summoner, you say? Gifted by... Uh, let's see. Better shurikens? The extra knockback is kind of tempting, but yeah, let's go for more shurikens. Okay. So this is weirdly working. Better than expected. The slimes are a worry, but we've got... We've got gem high, which should let me kind of blast through this, as well as a charge that does a ton of damage. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to ban Meteor Shower, so it just doesn't show up. I'll go for the 10% spell damage. It's not amazing. But it's good. Nice to see you don't need Warp Strike or Execution to be able to go full Blender Ban. You, all you really need is, is just... Gem High and nothing more. Bones to Ashes. Okay, do we want Combust? No. Let's go Flare. It's free damage. It's not the damage I'm going for. But it's there. Who 
this is the most, like, hack job build I think I've put together so far. Trying to go for raw damage is surprisingly difficult. I'm not setting a whole lot of enemies on fire, to my knowledge. I'm a little bit. I think we are being carried heavily by the fact that our sword is really strong. And we're also very fast. Just from the get-go. Oh, there's a grave there. Citrine of Lightning. I should probably take a look at a couple of these. So, you know what? We're not using fear. Let's just put that on. Summon damage, EXP gain per second, reroll die, and adept offers. That's not amazing. Spell speeds, luck, skill level up offers. Kinda underwhelming. Yeah, I want to kill the boss here. There we go. Expert level flare, sure. Okay, we're at 23. Let's see. Deadlock? Deadlock. I was hoping we'd find some more of that kind of sitting demon statue. Okay, I'm gonna kind of... Ooh, die. Yeah, let's not tempt fate anymore. I'm not that strong. Okay, don't know where he is. There he is. Yeah, at least he's got a pretty good tell. Oh, that was my revive, damn. Must have eaten a fireball. Oh, we didn't even get to use our... Legendary, like, time survival upgrade on that last run. Okay, time field, deadlock. Actually, time field. Damn it. I forgot this character had a revival. Oh, there they go. Blades level two? Sure. Okay, so boots, moving and dash cooldown. Ooh, lose some armor, dash cooldown though. Eight percent more damage. So that's actually kind of rough in this situation. Still worth it. What is this one? Oh, it's up here. So we lose the alteration die. No, that's actually that's not great. Not for not great for this character. Okay, I'm just gonna hang out here. I know I should be going for shrines, but again, whole goal is to kill summoners. Do I even have summons? I guess I not really. My whole goal is to kill summoners and to, uh, let's see, and to get to level 30. If I can do both of those things during this run, it doesn't matter win or lose. We're kind of doing okay. We did lose our, our revive, but so much of that is just my fault. even sure how that one hit me. Renacrom, attack area. Oh, now we might be hosed here.
But the problem is all I'm doing is stopping those. Yep, there we go. Well, did I get anything? Wow, Blades really did a lot of damage. I think the answer is Rampaging Strike is okay, but not my favorite. Knocking enemies back is kind of rough. We did get uh, at least one. We didn't get to level 30, but we got Sign of the Beast. So I guess first and foremost, let's take a look. Attack damage, summon damage versus... Ooh. That's tough. So even more attack damage. But we don't get the life on kill. We don't get the crit chance and we don't get the attack speed. I think I'm going to say no. I like the idea of it though. Less pickup area, more spell damage. It's very fine. We also could use a ring. I mean, I haven't tried this yet. And that's got some summons, which are interesting. Uh, heavy armor, but no. Dagger. Attack damage, life on hit. Let's get rid of those greaves. So this would be less damage, life on hit, crit chance, but we lose the attack speed and the alteration dice. No, thank you. Let's see. So who else? He needs a sword, but there are no swords. More legend, but we lose the master, which aren't really that good. Another staff. No. He's maxed out. He's maxed out. I'm mostly just trying to fill out my slots at this point while also looking for the couple of really good items that fit into somebody's build. Because what I'd like to do is actually start having some of these characters converge. The problem is I think both of these are relics. Yeah, it's tough. Right, and let's go take a look, because we got White Raven fights alongside you. It gains eight times value from stat boosts. So no movement speed bonus. Oh, Throne Shatter. That's why I was doing so much damage. See how the White Raven works. Big question is, does it apply curse? Can't tell, it does a ton of damage. Uh, holy shit, bird. They're just sitting. This is actually really tempting. Um, I'm gonna banish Deadly Strike. I'm gonna chance a reroll. Sickles of Mort. Okay, now if I'm mis not mistaken, there's a shrine down here too. There was. The yeah, only immediate problem is this bird, like all other birds, is going to slightly deny May me EXP. Oh, 
Does this help me? I think not. Does this help me? No. Mm -mm. I'll take it. It's not what I want. I'm actually going to make the Sickles of Mort slightly better. Um, I want the Ravens, but we've got the 10% chance for Expert. And so I'd rather my multitude of birds be as high of tier as possible. Like, I could go for a crazy bird lady build. It is an option. The problem is the what bird right now only does 56 damage. Could be better. Uh, let's see. Wait, did that enemy burn because it walked over the bonfire? Oh, I should have tested that. I was like starting to angling, uh, starting to angle to do so. I can't catch him. He's so fast. It's okay. I really don't like the greed shrine. I, I legitimately hope that gets changed. 30 gold is beyond useless after a certain point. There are some shrines where I'm just kind of like, yeah, I mean, that was okay at best. It is legitimately difficult for me to consider anything other than these. Parisians are really good about when go fast while attacking. Uh, but also that armor is so good. Because what does this put me at? Freaking 50% damage reduction. I haven't tried going for like a really high, just pure durability build. I have to time that a little bit better. Death has. Well, we got time. Uh, summoner. Okay. I think we've got kind of a usual sus suspects build going on. I was kind of hoping for Legong over Justice, but there you go. I was kind of hoping for Legong for the movement speed because I think this character is kind of slow. Well, I'll make whatever work. There's my bird, there's my bird. Yeah, I guess I could have waited for the better summoner damage boost. I'm hoping it's one of those that if you get the higher rarity of it, it, um, it works retroactively. But who knows? Not leveling very fast here. I don't know. We might have to. We might have to put Scotty on the back burner until we can get some more items for her. I think she's not bad. She can actually make it pretty far. Uh, we almost got to Dracula last time. Yeah, we're supposed to be getting a bunch of rarity upgrades here. I guess it's a 22%, so it's not that good. go. Oh, it's slime time. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, we don't have gem high going for us at the moment, but the sickles are pretty good. My damage is decent. Yeah, I think we're good. And we have some level of heal on kill going on. That tops me off. I'm gonna go for force. There is always the chance that we will get a better warp strike. Though honestly, we could go for the weakness. 
I, I think I'm going to hold out for an attack upgrade that is a higher tier rarity just because. Weakness might not be bad. I usually just point my nose in the air for that kind of thing, stick up my nose. It's usually not at all of interest to me because it's just not. But I'm thinking weakened, 30% less damage. If I already have a 50% damage reduction, it's not exactly additive. It's not like it's an effective armor of uh, 80% that way. But I could try and go for a build where I just neuter my enemy's damage so successfully. That uh, they can't hurt me. It's a temptation. I'll have to see what kind of rarities we're looking at, though. Okay. Let's see. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, attack speed... yeah. I was not expecting a purple fates, but we got it. Unfortunately, I'm gonna be burning through a lot of my, um... I'm gonna be burning through a lot of my rerolls and bonus effects. Just in search of something a little bit more powerful than what I've got. I'm going to go for the more adept offers. I know it's not actually that good, but it's better than white. Offers. I was hoping with that ring that would increase my, my rarity, or that would let me up my rarity levels, that would proc a little bit more often. I guess maybe I've just kind of been ignoring it because it's giving me not what I want. Okay, right. I don't have to be seeking out... ...summoners as much anymore. Okay, sorry about that. I had forgotten to upload a video. Oh, uh, let's see. So where were we? Wandering around, trying to Scotty... Uh, ...all the dang time. It's weird. She was the character we got our first win with, but now that we're on a much higher difficulty... Oh, it's freaking hard! Ooh, 40% attack speed, though. If I can get any kind of, like, absurdly good proc effects... Ooh, Soul Stealers. Might be an answer on that one. Okay, I'm trying to chase down the... the Red Bat, but it is... Not cooperating. I do hope at some point we see other bosses and mid bosses show up. Okay. That asshole summoner is just dumping endless amounts of ow archers on me. Which is really annoying. I don't even see the guy anymore. At least we get a decent amount of healing. Okay, these are big. Uh, let's see. I did say I wanted this. Justice. Okay. Protection reprisal celestial wings. Actually, the expert version of that's really good. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab reprisal. I have not seen the... Oh, 
that's the stun I was looking for. Ready the holy choirs. Okay, there goes my revive. Yeah. This bird is not great. Admittedly, I haven't gotten the requisite upgrades to make it into something really, really good here, but it's just not good enough. I'd much rather have the movement speed for this. Though, I think once again, our biggest issue here is that this run would be a complete cruise and snooze. If I was rolling on a much lower difficulty level. Hopefully we also get soul stealers at some point. On the plus side, my attack speed's getting really freaking high. Oi, that was a trial and a half. My armor up to. Eh. Test virtues. Heart is corrupt. Apparently that's a 50-50 chance. Which is... I don't know. I think... I think I'd like to see a more interesting version of that. I don't know how it would go. Uh... Personally, I think I'd rather just get rid of random chances like that. You know, have it be something like, oh yeah, you spent the gold, you get maybe a random item. And maybe it's not that bad. Let's see, soul steal. This is just so rough. Fine, I'll go for the soul stealers. We attack so fast, we should be able to proc a bunch of them. They would have honestly helped a lot earlier. I'm just trying to trying to go for like either a raw damage build or a hey, but what if this white bird is really good? But the white bird is worse than me. I'm sure there's a way to make it work, probably on a pure summon build, but um we don't have that kind of gear set on Scotty. And we would need a lot more like pure summon related things. Uh, but like I said, I, I think the, the key difference that I'm I'm really hung up on is that it's like a 1% damage bonus. Uh, I think if I really want to have a, a chance here, I need those master boons. Or at least like a reasonable degree of expert. Even adept at this point feels kind of eh. Maybe not that bad, but... Not as good as it could be. Like, it feels like, uh, unless you're really stacking a bunch of masters, you start getting hosed somewhere around minute blue slime, whenever that happens. Twelve minutes in. Good to know. I'm like, I can kind of make it make do just with those scythes doing a ton of damage. Uh, Mayhem, Soul Stealers. I mean, that's better. Ravens. I want Mayhem. But I think I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going to go Mayhem. I want the birds. That's Virtues. See? I was corrupt earlier and now I'm virtuous. What is the difference? There is no difference. I am still me. Okay, rerolls, rerolls. Okay, spell speeds, attack damage. And yeah, I probably should have picked up a lesser version of Gem High, but I just I don't spring for common if I can avoid it. I think we've survived this. But yeah, 
it's just so bad. Like, we do kind of scoot our way back up to full health. This guy is so annoying. Because, yeah, my, my movement speed is very much in the pits. I mean, 310 isn't terrible, but... It's very slow for my lack of range. Because I was trying to go for a, a just chop em build. Let's see. On the plus side... Yeah, damage reduction is 60%. And weakness is helpful in that regard, too. Like, I don't know. There's still a possibility I can pull this out, but it's going to require... some the stuff. Of uh, let's see. Increased chance of reprisal? Sure. Stunning a bunch of stuff seems kind of good. I guess he is summoning friends. I'm probably doomed here. You never know. I just don't have a good way of getting in there and hitting him. Uh, this is teleport. Ow, that one actually hit me. I was dodging on that one. I guess it wasn't enough. It's fine. I... I think the white bird... Yeah, sign of the beast. 30,000 damage. Like... The only thing that was worse was Reprisal, and even then that's not very good. I'm sure with the right build and upgrades and summon damage, it's absurd. But, uh, not that one. This one gives me Armor and short Shard Pull, so that's actually pretty good. Or, Evasion, Life, and Shard Pull area. That's, that's bad. This is okay. So what do we need? I mean, really anything that gives me Master Rarity. Unfortunately, those don't exist here. Chance to apply Feared. I mean, is this better? Not really. Sort of striking. That's, um, that's real good. I think we'll have to do an Avaron build. Because, yeah, this is all attack damage. So, maybe I just roll Avaron, who actually seems to be somewhat geared for raw damage. We do need to get him some more EXP per second, though. That is the one thing. And probably a better trinket someday. Later. Let's see. Yeah, is there anything else? No. Yeah, so I'll, I'll have to do a rounder or a three with Avaron. Oh, especially because Avaron has some new perks. Hold up, let's go look at those. Armor. Or Good Blessing. So what's his last one? Probably extra life revivals? I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But, I think with that said, is this a good stopping point? I think it is. I'm probably going to be doing two runs per video, unless it's a really banger run and I'm exhausted. Uh, but I think we'll give Avron a shot next. And if you guys want to specifically start saying like, hey, you haven't done uh, Krant in a while, go play Krant. 
I think we'll do Krant after Averon. Uh, but for now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.